Hey guys, it's Sarah. And today I'm going to share some books with you that I have recently acquired. This is over the past couple of months. There's not a lot because I've really been scaling down my book buying lately, which I've actually been pretty good at. But these are some that have come into my house since the beginning of July. So I just wanted to show you what those are. Okay, so first I'm going to go with a couple of things that were gifts. We just recently had our book two besties reading retreat. It's a virtual retreat that my besties and I do twice a year. And we just had our most recent one. And at the end of it, we did an Amazon wish list gift exchange that was completely optional. You signed up for it if you wanted to, if you didn't, no worries. And obviously I signed up for it. So the person who was assigned to send me something for my wish list was Kim and she sent me two things. So the first one is one that I put on my wish list during the retreat because somebody recommended it. And I had seen it before, but the way that she was talking about it, I was like, okay, now I really do want to read this. That is the eyes are the best part. This is by Monica Kim, you guys. <laughs> I I can't figure out if I love or hate this cover. I kind of love it, but it's also gross. But I kind of love it. Uh, this one is a horror novel from what I'm understanding. Um, I kind of know what it's about. I know that it's gross and I'm totally here for it. Um, and it is set in Korea, I believe. And um, so there's a lot about talk of um, the Korean culture and uh, somebody who's a little bit obsessed with the Korean culture, who's not Korean. And uh, it's a whole thing, but I've heard it's really, really good. Um, so I put it on my wish list and then Kim got it for me. So thank you, Kim, very much for this. And then she also sent me something that I added because of the retreat. Someone um, talked about these and I was like, wait, what is happening? Um, so this is a spiroglyphic kind of a coloring thing. It's Harry Potter themed. So if you see this image right here, um, you get that image by coloring in these spirals and you don't, obviously like you're looking at this, it looks like nothing, right? Like what is this? Um, but the way that the spirals are, there's thicker parts and thinner parts and they're all in different areas. So when you start coloring inside the lines, inside the spirals, then an image will appear when you're done. And I was like, um, yeah, and it's Harry Potter themed. Absolutely, I'm here for it. So I'm gonna try this and see what it's all about, but you can rip these out. So that's probably what I'll end up doing instead of trying to hold this open. But I would love to just sit and like put on a TV show and sit and like color this, uh, color it in. Maybe I'll do different colors for each one. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you, Kim. Okay, so those two were gifts. Now, uh, I went to Dallas, Texas with my daughter. At the end of July, we went to an AT's concert, which is a K-pop group. It was phenomenal. Um, but while we were there, we did a little shopping. We had a day where we kind of went out and did some stuff. And of course I hit a bookstore. They had a half price books there. And I went, I ended up getting three books at half price books. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. First one, Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. When this was first announced, I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> um, I have read the first three books in the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, and they were fine. I do have the other three that I'd like to read because I have a special edition set, so I do want to get those read, um, but I'm not eager to do it. So I wasn't sure if Cassandra Clare was going to be an author for me, to be honest. But from what I hear about this one, <laughs> I'm much more interested in this for sure, other besides the, you know, the Mortal Instruments world. Um, this is an adult book and I've just heard it's phenomenal. Um, I'm definitely a little bit in the dark about what it's about necessarily, just because I'm trying to go into my books a little bit more blind, but everyone that I've seen who has read this book loves it, like obsessed loves. So I'm going to, I'm going to take that. And I found it used in perfect condition and it was a great price. So I went ahead and picked this up. Okay. The next one I got is a copy of the cloisters. This is by Katie Hayes. This has been on my radar for a little while. And this one deals with somebody who is expecting to spend her summer working at the museum of modern art, but instead gets assigned somewhere else. And I think she uncovers some sort of, oh my God, Oh my word. <laughs> that is gorgeous. I did not even know. I didn't even open this book. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. 
um, she gets assigned to something else where she's discovering that there's some sort of maybe medieval gothic group type, like secret society type thing happening. And those are huge buzzwords for me. So um, yeah, I picked up a copy of this one. Okay, hear me out. I recently have said, <laughs> um, I don't like politics in my books, which I normally don't. Unless I pick it up and I know there's politics in it and I can kind of prepare myself for that. And I'm like, okay. Um, I grabbed Anthem by Noah Hawley and I got this on clearance. It was like $3, I think. This is political and I know that it is um, both sides of it. Um, like both sides take the heat in this one, which if I'm going to read a book with politics in it, I want both sides to take the heat. Um I don't like it heavy handed one way or the other. So I guess there's that. Um, I heard that this is hard to read because of that and that it can really challenge your, you know, if you feel really strongly one way, it can really challenge that or it can probably tick you off. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I end up ever getting to this. I think I would like to give it a try at least. And then if I try it and I, it's not for me, then at least I know. Um, but it definitely made enough of a splash to catch my attention. Okay, these other books have come from other sources. So I um, was at Walmart just getting everyday stuff. And of course, I stopped by the book section because why not? Um, and I grabbed a couple of Elsie Silver books. Now, Elsie Silver is an author I have read before and absolutely loved to five star the one book of hers that I've read. And I want to get into more of her books because she just writes really fun romances set in small towns. And I'm really digging that right now. Um, so I think that she is an author that I really am going to be wanting to, you know, really get into. So these are the first two books in the Gold Rush Ranch series. So they're going to be kind of cowboy. Um, so first one is Off to the Races. A second one is A Photo Finish. And these covers are gorgeous. They're, these are new cover designs for these books. So they're coming out. Um, and there's a couple more in the series that are not out yet because they're going to come out these covers. So I'll keep an eye out for those when those are available. But uh, yeah, so small town romance. And then there are two books that I ended up getting on Tertulia. Um, Tertulia is a website that I have been using. They are in an online independent bookstore and I've been working with them. Um, I do have an affiliate link for them. If you guys are interested in shopping online and you want to support an independent bookstore versus a big company, um, I will have my affiliate linked down below go ahead and check it out. And then um, when you use it for the first time, then you can get 20% off of your entire order. I'll leave that code down below as well. If you guys want to use that, you're more than welcome to. If you already used it and you want to um, just use the affiliate link, please feel free to do so. If not, no worries at all. Um, but I do get, I get a little bit of a kickback for that. I get some credit with them when you guys use those links. But um, I got two books here. So the first one is Worst Case Scenario by TJ Newman. I'm going to be reading this very soon. I'm very excited to read this one. This is her third book. I've read the other two. They were phenomenal. I don't have any doubt this one will be either. All of her books so far have involved some sort of plane crash or plane disaster. This one, a plane is going down over a town that has a nuclear plant and what the aftermath of all that is. So I'm very excited to see what that's going to be all about, but I will be reading this one soon. And then the last one that I got, I also got from Tertulia, and this one has been a little bit harder for me to find, so I was very happy that they had it, but that is Freak. This is by Jennifer Hillier. This is book number two in her Creep series. First one's called Creep, second one is Freak, third one is called The Butcher, and um, it's a it's a little trilogy. So um, I have the first one, found the second one on it, thought I would just go ahead and take advantage while I had it <laughs> um, available to me. And then The Butcher, they're re-releasing soon as well. So when that's out later this year, I believe, um, I will go ahead and probably get a copy of that from Tertulia as well. But um, yep, I'm very excited about this because I love Jennifer Hillier. Her writing is phenomenal. Okay, guys, that's it. Those are some of the books that I have brought into my home in the past couple of months. So not too bad for a two month time span there. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you read any of these and I will see you guys again soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.